Hey everybody, I just wanted to uh, see if I can help uh, everybody with the uh, the Boss RC600 and some MIDI. Um, this thing is just fantastic at what it can do. And, uh, you know, I was looking for a MIDI controller uh, that had sliders and dials on it. And um, I, I really couldn't find anything that was small. I mean, yeah, it's on my keyboard and, and that kind of stuff. But uh, I wanted something small that I could control, you know, output levels and uh, FX and maybe an all start stop button. And uh, what I did was I, I, I researched. I don't know much about MIDI, but uh, I know that you can put 16 assigns uh, per memory on the Boss RC600. Um, it is not a global setting or system setting. It is per memory, so just something to keep in mind. Um, what I ended up doing was uh, I put all the assigns into a, uh, I've got one memory that is kind of my, like my template. I have all my FX set, I have all my MIDI set, and then I'll just use that for any new creations and, uh, and save it to a new uh, memory location. But anyways, uh, uh, I, I searched the internet and I finally came up with a, uh, um, a program for my iPad and that's really what I wanted. I wanted to be able to control everything from up here by my mic stand. And as you can see, I got uh, iPad Pro here with OnSong on it and some other stuff. And then over here, I found this program. It's called Touch OSC, which is down here. And as you can see from this, this is I, I designed this layout, and you can too. You can put this in any configuration that you want, and it's really pretty simple to do. So I've got an all start, start, stop. Uh, you can see all F X A B C D. I've got a mass, master volume slider up here. I've got track one, two, three. Um, that's mainly what I use. I mean, you could put six on there if you wanted to you can put as many as you want um, but you can only have 16 assigns so I also have my mic level mute mute uh, mic uh, start stop track one start tr stop track two and three uh, I got rhythm level down here and I also can control my memory up and down on, on uh, uh, you know from one through 99 with that slider so what I'd like to do is uh, I'll probably make another video, maybe, or maybe I'll add on to this. I don't want to make this one too long. Uh, I'll just give you an example how this one works, and then I'll show you uh, and uh, with another video on how to make this layout. And you, you can make it any way you want. It's really pretty simple. Um, and, and we'll go we'll go through that in another video so just to give you an idea of how this works I'm gonna go ahead and push um, let's just start with uh, uh, start track one so I'm gonna go down I'm gonna hit the button and as you can see so I'm playing track one I'm gonna turn the... all right we're gonna add track two And we'll add track three. So then as we come up here, we can see the master volume. Uh, track one, can increase the volume. Track two, however you decide to work this thing. And of course, mic levels. And then FX, uh, A, B, C, D, I've got for uh, through my mic, uh, all stop. We hit the all stop button. You can see everything flashing down here. So basically, I mean, you have 16 assigns, and there is tons and tons of of uh, parameters that uh, Boss gives you to be able to do this. So I would suggest that you. When you, if you want to do this, the first thing to do is download their parameter guide because it kind of gives you an idea of everything that you can assign. And it also, when you're turning the dial to assign, which I'll show you, it's, it's a big, big list and it's hard to find some of the stuff. So by looking at that list, it's easier to find 
what you're looking for. So I hope that uh, explains some of this. This is really a nice little layout. It, it's just hooked up right to the boss. I've got, I've got a camera connector, you know, uh, regular camera connector. And I've got a charger plugged into one side. And the other one is just the USB to the, to the boss, which is right here. So again, uh, you know, you can see, you can just design anything you want. So at this point, I will make another video, and in that video, I'll, I'll, I'll link uh, how to get this app, where it is, and how to use it. Because you have to have the Touch OSC app, and you have to have the editor. So it's two different things. So in order to do this, you're going to need an iPad, and you're going to need a Mac computer. All right. I hope that helps, and uh, we'll, we'll start with another video. Thanks. Have a great day.